So, another baby to share with you guys is yeah. our new retinol cream. We're super excited about this cream. Um, it's available in September. Yeah. So we're super excited about this cream. Um, retinol is another really strong, active working ingredient that has also changed my skin. I think a combination between the transexamic, a transexamic acid and retinol have been two things that have just kind of transformed my skin over the past year. And you know, retinol seems like a scary term, but it's actually just a derivative of vitamin A that help boost collagen in the skin. And it has given me smoother, more even skin. It has reduced sunspots. It has minimized the fine. I have a really bad habit of squinting when I'm doing my makeup. I'm not sure if anyone else <laughs> shares this bad habit, but you know, I'm in my 20s and I still get, you know, fine lines that creep up from just bad habits that we have. And, and this retinol cream has really helped minimize the appearance of those fine lines. Um, and you know, I actually, you know, I meet with my dermatologist all the time because she's a big part in helping me, you know, develop this line and, and find new formulations that we want to run with. And she told me that it's even been shown to help prevent some cases of skin cancer. So again, it's just, you know, we, we, we're really excited about launching this product to the line. And we, we also uh, designed this formulation for ret of retinol for people who not necessarily have been introduced to retinol before because just irritation is part of the process with retinol. I think a lot of the people give up on using this product and this ingredient because they start to see some irritation, some peeling, some redness, and they think, oh, this product's not for me, and they stop right away. Um, but irritation is part of, part of the process. And you know, after a few weeks, our skin cells start to adapt to the acid that's in the ingredient and we start to begin to tolerate it. So I thought that, that's why I thought this was a perfect way to introduce retinol to the line. This is definitely a more gentle formula for people who are not used to this ingredient. And then later we'll be introducing a second step, which is a slightly stronger, um, stronger acting retinol. But the key is just to be consistent. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. You don't wanna give up with it. You wanna give it its, its chance, I think with, mm -hmm. I, I believe with myself, it was about eight to 12 weeks that I started to see drastic changes. Um, and if you have sensitive skin, you know, you might wanna try applying a moisturizer first to reduce the absorbency of it. And once you establish that your skin can tolerate it, you can switch back to layering the retinol first. Uh, but the, the changes are amazing, it works, you just have to be consistent and know that sometimes the irritation is good. It means that it's working. You just wanna hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. So some of the benefits of the new retinol is it brightens your um, complexion, it's gonna improve elasticity, it's gonna moisturize and soothe. Another great thing about ours is that we offer an ingredient so it's not as harsh on the skin. And then the big thing is reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Which it really, really does. So uh, just to go off of what uh, Amber had stated, thank you. They're excited about the retinol <laughs> reducing lines. <laughs> um, so back up what Amber said was about the vitamin A. And what the vitamin A does is it creates a natural cell turnover. And so that's sometimes where whenever you use a retinol, we always recommend using a sunscreen because you're almost removing your dead, you are removing the dead skin and you have a baby face at that point. Even in the winter. Exactly. I think the big thing is people think they don't need to use sun protection in the winter. Um, it's super important that you're wearing a strong sunscreen year round, especially when you're treating your face with strong active ingredients mm -hmm. like this one. Okay. The next ingredient that I wanna talk about is the polypore. So this is an encapsulated retinol. What an encapsulated retinol is, is it has a sustained release. Again, this goes along with the whole harsh effects of what retinol can do. The release of retinol is very slow, which enables us it enables its use at effective levels to help improve stability and to reduce irritation. So I think it's very key to point out how it's, um, what it does. Um, we also have ectoin in it, which is to moisturize and soothe the skin. Again, that goes back to keeping you from having the irritation. 
And let's see, another one that I want to point out, we have our blue-green algae in this retinol that goes back to our C ingredients, and this is going to help with the moisturizing as well. And, an, and another one to help with flakiness and hydration. So the whole point of this is so you guys could see how many great ingredients are in this product along with the retinol.